All right, so when you think about guard, let's start with the root word. I always start with the root word of whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Like a, when you put a woman in a category as a guarded woman, ask yourself this. When you guard something, when you put something up on it, obviously it has value to you, right? If you go to a, let's say you go to an Airbnb, right? Let's say if you go to, go on a trip and you Airbnb it at night, you make sure that it's locked. You make sure the doors are locked, that it's secure, the back door, the front door, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a new area for you. So you want to make sure that it's secure. Why? Because your laptop, your belongings, your valuables, yourself, maybe your kids, wife, husband, your loved ones is inside the Airbnb. So you lock it to protect it, to guard it because it's valuable. So when a person's guarded, then a lot of times they have had high self-worth high self-value, they view themselves as valuable, so they guard themselves because they don't want to let anybody in. You don't want to let anybody through your front door and just roam around your house. You don't want to let anyone in. Your car just come and sit down like you're Uber, even if you're not Uber, if you are, you know, whatever. But if you're not, you don't want to let anybody in or close to stuff, stuff that you care about. And if you care about your heart, and if your heart has been damaged or your you know, you, your heart has been broken and you have been through some trials and tribulations, then you don't want to feel that pain again. So what do you do? You guard it, you protect it. It's number one. So when you label a person as guarded, it's not always, it's not always a negative terminology. Sometimes it's you understanding that this person is valuable. So if, ladies, to you, if, guys, if, if, if a man has called you too guarded, then what he's saying in hindsight is you got to, your your standards are too high, possibly for him, which is also an okay thing, right? Now, now that we understand what guard means, guard is not like a bad, you know, like oh you're guarded. It's like it's terrible. It's not. When a woman has value, when she has self awareness, when she know what she brings to the table, then not only do she guard and protect it, she also is very selective with who she allow past that. Once they get, you know, once they prove themselves, she's very selective even then with letting somebody close to her. Because when you let somebody close to you, you allow yourself to be vulnerable.